Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. By way of introduction, my name is Adam Flynn. I am from Big and Scott Real Estate here in the city of Knox and will proudly be your auctioneer here today. We'd firstly like to take this opportunity to thank our vendors for entrusting us with the sale of their property. We at Biggin and Scotch truly do consider it a privilege to be acting on their behalves. Now, for those of you who are involved here today, quite frankly, exciting times. Of course, the most excited will be the venture purchaser of this fantastic property that stands behind me. And in the next 10 minutes or so, the decision on who that buyer is going to be is entirely up for you to decide not myself. Now, if you are planning on bidding here today and you're a little bit nervous about the entire process, just relax. It's our job to make sure that each and every single person here today has a fair and equal opportunity to secure this home. The contracts, they have been on display for the past 30 minutes. There is nothing untoward in there, but there are a few details that you as a prudent buyer should be made very well aware of. The property is legally described in Certificate of Title as volume 9911 with a folio of 263. Better known to you, I and the postman as 27 Paper Park Place in Knoxfield. The terms in which our vendors are calling for here today is a deposit equaling either 5 or 10 per cent of the purchase price. So a little bit of flexibility there in regards to deposit and balance 30, 60 or 90 days from today's date. We would prefer 30 to 60 days, uh, but can stretch it out to 90 if need be. Now the auction will be conducted in accordance with any rules and regulations that were made available prior to the start of the auction. The vendors, they do have a reserve price. And as the auctioneer, I will indicate bids upon request. The law prohibits any false bids, prohibits any disruptions by bidders, and it does provide fines for this conduct. If I am going to make a bid on behalf of the vendor, the words I will simply use during the auction to indicate that I'm doing that are vendor bid. And by law, only I as the auctioneer can make a bid on behalf of the vendor. Now, on the rare chance of the property being passed in, here today, ladies and gents, boys and girls, the highest bidder at that point in time reserves the first exclusive right to negotiate directly with the vendor to their very realistic reserve price. So, essentially, if you are interested in this house, I need to see either your hand or your paddle up in the sky with your intent to purchase. Now, I don't intend to walk you through the property inch by inch. As I look around today, I see a number of familiar faces that have been through the property over the past 30 days since we commenced the marketing campaign. Better yet, let's start with where the true value lies and let's begin with the address. Number 27, Paperbuck Place in Knoxfield. We are in a full-size family allotment. North-facing backyard. Quiet location. The house, sure, it's original, but it's honest. It's very, very neat and tidy. You can purchase and put your own stamp on this fantastic property because the one thing you cannot change is location and land size, and we've got them both right here, ladies and gents, boys and girls. We're within close proximity to Westfield, close proximity to Eastlink, close proximity to the Knox School, close proximity to everything, really. School, shops, transport, everything you could possibly want in quality living. So once again, we're looking to purchase the property and renovate the existing house, looking to move straight in, it's certainly neat and tidy enough to accommodate that. Whether you're looking at extending the property, the choice is simply yours, because capital growth is based on the location, capital growth is based on the size of the allotment, and once again, we have them both right here. We are here today to sell. Make no mistake about it. When I caught first, second, third, final calls, the contracts hit my hands like so. Be rest assured, ladies and gents, boys and girls, the property here, this fantastic property in this prized location will be sold. So without further ado, now comes the fun part. Where I'll turn it over to you, I'm in your hands, be a spirited bidding, and we'll find out who the lucky new owner of this fantastic property will be. Start me where you will.
Well, I only assume you haven't come out on a Saturday afternoon to watch an egotistical auctioneer do his thing. That would be an assumption. Start me where you will. A fair and reasonable opening bid. But people throughout the course of the campaign seen value around the mid sixes. May I suggest that might be a good starting point? Even early sixes. It doesn't really bother me where we start. At 620, welcome to the bidding. A round of applause. It takes a brain song to open up the bidding. At 620,000, we'll call 20 in the rise from here. At 620,000, now it's gone to 640. Anywhere at all, should be a Mexican wave of hands going up at that level. Might be your lucky day, sir. At 620,000, 640, welcome now. At 640, 60 if you'd like. At 640, now we are fair to bid. 660, 660, yeah. welcome back. 680, good strong bidding now. At 680, 70 if you'd like. At 680,000 now, 70 if you'd like to welcome you back. At 680... Oh, uh, 690. 690, I'll take the 90. 70 if you'd like. At 690,000 now, we are fairly bidding off it. I'll offer you the same courtesy to 10. At 690,000 now, point to 7. First call at 690. Might be your lucky day again. Second call... No late bids at 690,000. <laughs> 695. I'll take the five. Offer the same courtesy at 700 if you'd like. Great buying at 700 now. 705 if you'd like. Great buying at that level. At 700,000, I'll take you to 10 if you'd like. At $700,000 now, we are on a first call at 700. Great buying at that level. 05. Every day of the week. You can't pay too much for something like this. Second call at 700. 705. 10. At 10, welcome back. 15 if you'd like. At 710, 15 if you'd like. It's worth that every single day of the week. At 710, first call at 710. Second call. 710. We've got 710. 715. 715, welcome now. We are on the market, we are playing for keeps. 720 if you'd like. At 715, 720 now, 725, 7 a corner we call. At 720, 725, first call at 720. 25? Once again, it's worth every single day of the week. Sort of property around the corner. I think on a smaller size of but don't hold me to that. The 900,000 three weeks ago. <laughs> now I'm fairly comparable. Now I'm fairly comparable. A 720 coin for seven and a quarter. I'll call it three times. Once a contract's hit my hand, the property sells. At 720, on a first call, no late bids. So now if you're interested, now is the time to shine. Second call at 25. A thousand. I'll take the $1,000. 725 if you'd like. At 721, snatch the keys. At one. At one, okay, this might take a while. At 722, 723 if you'd like. At 722 now, we are fairly bid. At 722. At 722, we are fairly bid. At 722, first call worth that every single day of the week. You cannot go wrong buying a property like this. Second call at 722,000. 23, welcome back. 24 if you'd like. At 23 now. At 24, 25, 25, 26, 7, at 726 now, at 726,000, worth that every single day of the week, might be your lucky day sir, good buying at that level. First call at 726, second call at 700. Land value at that. Third call at 726,000. No late bids, are you sure? The ball, the contract, the property sells, no late bids. I'll call it three more times. First, second, third and final. We sell, we sell, we are sold. Congratulations. Commiserations to